So if you have 12 notes like this, let's use yellow. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? You could go every other note would be whole steps, right? There's one again. That'd be whole steps. And if you want every note like this, those would be half steps, right? So you could go like this, you could treat it like numbers like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? That's all half steps. You could take every other note like that. And that would be whole steps, right? So then you would have two sets of them, right? You'd have that set, then you'd have this set, right? Two independent sets of whole steps, right? Yeah. And then there's one more way you could, you could divide it up, right? You could go one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You could divide it up with a whole step plus a half step, right? Whole step plus a half step. Whole step plus a half step. And then this note up here would be Note one again over here, right? So you could go every other note. Now you'd have two more sets of these, right? You could have that set, and you could have this set, right? Uh, let me use blue. I use light blue. You could have this set. Right? And then you could have this set here. I use a triangle. So you could have three sets. So in other words, if you took the diagram and you did this, that's supposed to be a circle. Hold on a sec. Let me do this. Yeah, how about this? There we go. Now, if I do this, So there's our 12 notes, right? So if we have if we have a chromatic scale, it's every note, right? Chromatic is all half steps, right? You guys get that, right? Yes, got it. So now whole steps, let's use yellow for whole steps. There's a whole, there's a whole step here, right? Those are all whole steps, right? So if you start right here, 
that scale is going to give you the same notes if you start here on the scale. It's all going to contain all the same notes with each other, right? So this is one scale, but there's actually six scales that all contain the same notes, right? Are you guys with me? Yes. Yes. Okay, so then there's only one other possibility. If you start here, these notes don't overlap those original whole step notes, right? These are a different set, right? Mm -hmm. So you have two whole tone scales. You actually have six tones in the scale. So you could start the note on any one of the six tones, but it's going to contain all the notes in yellow are going to be the same scale, but they don't belong to the notes in purple. So there's two different scales in whole steps, right? And there's one more division. And that division will be to take the scale and go whole step plus a half step, whole step plus a half step, whole step plus a half step. So what we get is this, right? The four note scale. But there's two more sets, aren't there? I'm going to use the red set. That's this set here, right? And then the green set. There's a triangle for that one. Why not? And there's your green set. So those are three independent sets of scales contained within the 12 note scale. That makes sense, to anybody? Yeah. Alonzo, you're shaking your head now. I get it. I understand it. All right. So those are, those are symmetrical scales. So the notes are equidistant to each other. And those are those are done with math. Those are done strictly by dividing the twelve into subdivisions, right? These weren't these scales weren't created by ear. They were created by math. Now, if you take a scale that's created by ear, here's what they sound like. You got a chromatic scale. That's all twelve. Divide it in half, you get every other note. It still sounds like it doesn't want to resolve anywhere. It sounds like it's still unresolved, right? And then you take the one that's a step and a half. So those scales sound pretty uncomfortable. So what happened is over the years, people started singing songs in villages, in little villages, rural villages all over Europe and Asia. And they came out with a scale strictly by ear that sounded more like this very simple scale five notes five note scale and then later as time evolved in Europe, they figured out that they could add this 
Six note scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was around 1100 AD. They came out with a six note scale. And the name of it was called a hexachord. And then through time and playing, they added the last note. And that was done by ear. So that final, final result was a seven note scale. Professor, so the red was a hole plus a half step. What were the green and purple? They're all whole, whole steps and half steps. Oh, they were all. Here's purple. Those are all whole, one and a half steps each, right? Mm hmm That's all one and a half steps each, red. Right? Oh, yeah. See it? Yeah. That's just a different set. You have a purple set and you have a red set, right? Mm. Same distances, but one starts yes. on purple, the other starts on red. And they don't overlap, right? Yeah. Then you have one more set. You have the green. And that's a whole step plus a half step. The same distances. None of those those three don't overlap though. So there's three separate scales that don't overlap. Yeah. Are you guys Ozzy Osbourne fans? Yes. So you know when somebody agrees with something, what do you have to say? I, 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 right? Only one person got that joke. <laughs> you guys don't like Ozzy. Your generation is too young to appreciate Ozzy, right? I'm born the Katy Perry generation. Now that's the chick with the purple hair. Yes. Yeah. Screaming California girl. Is it green hair or purple hair? Her purple hair is cool. Okay. So Desiree, did you get that? They're, they're all the same distance. There's just three sets of them. All right. Now, and those are those weird, uncomfortable sounding scales, right? Because they're symmetrical, right? Now, by ear, they came out with the this scale. There's your five note folk scale. And your five note folk scale, five notes. It's a folk music scale, folk scale. Professor, uh, I'm a visual learner. So is this like the uh, is this like the place to screenshot it and to go to when I'm confused? Could be, yeah. Why don't you? All right, so it's a five-note scale. Folk scale. Very old. And then they use this word to describe it, penta. tonic
Penta means five, right? Like a pentagon, a pentagram, pentatonic. So that scale was old and figured out by ear. No math was used. They just started playing notes, and these are the notes that sounded pleasant to people in villages. So they started using that scale. Like if I'm doing this key, it's going to sound like this. for people to sing those notes not too complicated then around 1100 they started adding this they added one more note note scale and then about 300 years later they added this note and they call that the major scale And that's what we base our entire world of Western music theory on this scale. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a whole step, another whole step, and a half step, another whole step, another whole step another whole step and a half step so that's the basis of our entire schedule. now you see it's not symmetrical at all right you've got a long distance a long distance a short distance long 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 short but our ear likes that sound right so let's take a look at what it looks like on a string first screenshots everybody screenshots Also, uh, Professor, is it like uh, starting from the beginning note, like whole step, whole step, half step, then whole step, whole step, whole step, half step? You got it. Got it. All right, so here's, here's what it's going to look like. If you take a string, like I'm going to use blue for a string. Here's a string. And these are frets. You guys know what frets are? Anybody not know what a fret is? Um, could you explain that? Fret. These little, these little metal metal bars. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. Those are metal bars. That's where you push your finger down, changes the pitch. God, oh, okay, thank you. So these are frets here. Okay, so there's our frets, right? Now, if you start with one note here, to do the major scale, we're going to go whole step, whole step, half step. And then another whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. 
So it looks lopsided on a string, but here's what it sounds like. If I start with this note here, I'm going to go a whole step, whole step, half step. Then whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So it's going to sound like this. And that was the sound everybody agreed on back in the old 1200s and 1300s. Is that was the first? It was this. And that was based on the pentatonic. And they added one note. And they added one more. But back in the 1100s, they didn't like that note. It made them uncomfortable. Because it, it sounds uncomfortable. It wants to resolve to here, doesn't it? You can actually feel it. So they said this note, we avoid, we're going to avoid that one because it makes people, you know, real sketchy, you know? makes people act weird so they're going to avoid that note but then people started writing a lot of music and then in the middle ages you had a transition from the church controlling all the music to the pu public starting to control the music went from sacred to secular music so the public started coming up with music and then that became more accepted if you resolve it to here so that's the uh, the acoustic basis of the scale. So here's our tones: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one starts over again also called eight so between one and two we have this whole step which was two frets right and then between two and three we have a whole step but between three and four we have a half step between four and five we have a whole step and then five and then the rest of it forms an identical pattern to this first one whole step whole step half step <clears throat> so that's the construction of this scale and that's the basis for everything we do everything so what they did then was they said okay let's divide this into two segments here we got this first segment and the second segment separated by a whole step right and they call that a link so this first segment looks like this right And the second segment looks like this. You got a whole step, whole step, half step. So the two sides look identical together. That they're two shapes that look as, look the same, right? In other words, this shape. It's identical looking to this shape, right? Can you guys see that? Yeah. So they divide the scale into these two shapes. And they have a name. <clears throat> these shapes are called... <clears throat> excuse me. These shapes are called tetrachords.
So we have the Greek words monad, right? That's one. Dyad. Anybody know what that could be? Two. Two. Triad. Equals three, right? And then we have the tetrad. And above that, we have the pentad, right? Okay, so this is where we get tetra from four. So in the book, it says tetrachord means the distance of a fourth. Well, here it is, one, two, three, four. That distance is a fourth right there, see? So if you have C, the scale is going to be C, D, E, F. That's one, two, three, four. C, D, E, F, right? And they have to be whole step, whole step, half step. Now, if you change this to be this, C, D, E flat, F, that would change this into a whole step, half step, whole step. You, that would be changed. That would be a different, that would be a different shape, wouldn't it? That would look like this. You would have a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step. That's a different sound than whole step, whole step, half step. So if you have a tetrachord of whole step, whole step, half step, it's going to sound like this. But if you changed it to be whole step, half step, whole step, it would change the sound of it. You see, it's two different sounds by changing the whole steps and half steps. So the major scale has whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step link. And a whole step, whole step, half step. So you go. There's our whole scale. That's our major scale. If you change it around, you get this. That's a different scale, isn't it? Still a scale, but not a major scale. The major scale is always, 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 always whole step, whole step, half step. Fixed. Set in stone. If you change that whole steps and half steps, it makes it a different, it's into a different scale. Not a major scale. Major scale is whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, screenshots! Got it. Just yeah. one, Professor, uh, like, very quick question. So uh, how how do you translate this from, like, from being visual to, uh, to actually playing it? Like, 
I practice it on the piano. Yeah, you would play the notes in order on the piano from your starting note. Whatever note you start on, you count up whole step, whole step, half step. Thanks, Professor. In other words, uh, let me see if I could find the keyboard diagram real quick. You change from like whole step to letters, right? From what you're, or you start on the piano to letters, the yeah. notes. Watch this. Okay, so here's our keyboard, right? I'm going to use blue. So if I go like this, if I'm going to start on C, I count up a whole step, right, to here. Whole step, half step, right? And you see the half step occurs naturally here. Then a whole step link, whole step, Whole step, half step. There's our C. There's our C scale, right? There's your whole step, whole step, half step, whole step link, whole step, whole step, half step. That's starting there, right? Everybody clear on that? Now, what happens if I do this? What if I start here? Now that's my starting spot. Well, I'm going to still follow whole step, whole step, half step, right? So what note is that, Hugo? That is... That is E sharp? A flat. Oh, A flat. So now I'm going to go up a whole step. So it wouldn't be here, it would be here, right? There's our whole step, right? Then another whole step would be here, right? Then a half step would be here, right? Then I need another whole step. Then a whole step. Then a whole step. Then a half step. So here's what we got. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That would be that scale. Where's your keyboard? Oh, my keyboard is normally over there. Is it turned on? It isn't open right now. Well, try okay. this later. Okay. So that's an A flat major scale. Let's try another note. Somebody name a note. Mm. A. A. Here's A. So I'm going to whole step, whole step, half step. Does that make sense? Whole step, whole step, half step. Then I need a whole step link. Then I need a whole step, whole step, half step. There's A. That's an A, that's an a major scale. Hugo, you should be screenshotting these. If you're going to try these on, on piano... So there's our A major scale. So somebody give me another scale. E. E. Here's E. So I need a whole step to here, right? 
not there because that's a half step, right? Then I need another whole step. Then a half step, right? Then I need a whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Half step. There's our E major scale. Is it making sense to you guys? little bit yeah Nate you go yep. you go Alonso yeah Jesus yes Desiree yes sure mm -hmm. yeah all right let's do two more scales name and note D sharp e. Okay, do it again. B? I said D. D or B? G. G? Okay, G. Here's G. We need a whole step. Whole step. Half step. Whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Half step. Well, G's only got one sharp in it. That's cool. Easier to play. Yeah? Okay, let's do one more scale. What scale? G. No, we just did G. B. B like boy? Yeah. Okay, here's B. So we go whole step, right? So we go to here now, right? Then a whole step. Then a half step. Then we need another whole step. Then a whole step. Whole step. Half step. Wow, B's got a lot of sharps, huh? Harder to play. That's the B major scale because we kept the arrangement of whole steps and half steps. And that's what causes it to sound like a major scale is though. If you keep those whole steps and half steps intact, it's always going to sound like a major scale. Whatever note you start on, if you keep those whole steps and half steps, it'll make that into a major scale. A B major scale, a G major scale, an F major scale, any major scale you start on. If you keep whole step, whole step, half step, it's going to make it sound like a major scale. If you change the whole steps and half steps, you're going to get a different kind of scale. You're going to get a minor scale or something else or some other unknown scale. But for now, we're starting with the major scale for this class. So we got to understand the construction of the major scale is based on whole steps and half steps. And before I did that, I had to make sure you guys understood what a half step is and what a whole step is. What am I doing, man? My video's off. Why is my video off? What did you guys do to me? Oh, I know. I have to I have to clear all the beer cans off my desk before you can see me, right? Is that the metallic sound I was hearing? Yeah, those are the Jack Daniels bottles. <laughs> That's a good beer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the whole steps and half steps. So the formula is fixed. Fixed formula. Whole step, whole step, half step. Okay. So now here we are with back to our book, right? So that's what that whole explanation meant was this thing here. Tetrachord means a distance of a fourth. So we go C, D, E, F. That's our fourth note in the scale, right? Lately with this software, I've been making Fs like this. 
people were commenting. And I go, it's my wrist. My wrist spazzes out when I make an F. So C, D, oops, D, E, F. Oh, I can't use the word spaz. That's was that is that racist? No, that's what's what's the opposite of diversity? I'm not being I'm not being diverse. Inclusivity. If I, if I spaz, right? Inclusive. So many rules now. Yeah. You know, I mean, the slang terms I grew up with, you can't say anymore, right? You can't you can't call anybody the R word, right? Because that's discriminating against mentally mentally handicapped people, and you get in trouble for that, right? Okay, so anyway, here we go. We got the tetrachord. Two half steps, two half steps. So he's using two half steps for the whole step, right? So there's a W W H. Two two one, yeah. All right, so just keep going with this. Major tetrachord set formula. Well, we we just talked about that. Major tetrachord. There we go. Set f formula. You can start on any note, any one of these notes, and build the first four notes of a major scale from that note. And then the beginning note is the name of the major scale. So do you guys understand that now? So here's the lower tetrachord. And then here we have our whole step link down here. And then the upper tetrachord. Okay, so now here's our exercise on page 9. Now, you think you guys might be able to attempt this exercise and turn it in on Wednesday? I'll do the first couple ones. Okay, so here we have F, right? Oops. God dang it, man. <laughs> F. So I'm going to go F. A whole step above F is G, right? And then I need another whole step above G, and that's going to be A, right? Now from A, I need a half step. So you got to go consult your chromatic number line and see what note that would be. Do you guys have that handy? A sharp. A sharp. It would be a sharp. That would be the correct sounding note. However, you see how we have two A's in a row? All the rules say you have to keep everything in alphabetical order. So instead of a sharp... G flat? No. Oh. B flat. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, who wants to try number three? I'll give it a go. Who? Who wants to do it? I could try. Yeah, go for it. All right, so. What note is that? That's B flat, right? B flat. And then a whole step from that would be. D flat? D flat, yeah. No. You guys get out your chromatic number lines. You should have them posted on the wall next to your computer. If I can open that up. We want a whole step above B flat. Is that a C? It's a C. Now we need another whole step above C. D? D. And now we need a half step in alphabetical order. E flat. E flat. E flat. Oh. Yep. 
All right, so turn this in on Wednesday, all right? What do we go up to? Just do the whole page? Sure. How many are there? There's only 30. Here's the to here's the complete scale. Let's let's not do this yet. This has another that's 28. We'll do we'll do this one on Wednesday. Let's do let's keep to this one here. This page exercise five. That's for Wednesday, okay then? All right. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Everybody's here. Yeah. We will see you guys on Wednesday. What else is happening on Wednesday? Is it a holiday of some sort? I wish. Isn't isn't it a holiday in Australia? Halloween. Manhole right. manhole cover day, right? Oh, uh, how could I forget about manhole cover day? Yeah. Okay, see you guys Wednesday. <laughs> see you later Wednesday, Professor. Bye, Professor. See ya.